Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Cheryl Lynn and today is May the 4th and may the 4th be with you all. And for some of us that just really love Star Wars, today is kind of like a little fun special day for us that we kind of just enjoy um, that day for us Star Wars fans. Anyways, I just thought today I would give you guys a video for May the 4th and that it would be about my lounge flies that I got for Star that are Star Wars themed and that I'm just enjoying and I love and I use on a daily basis. I actually change in and out of these bags. I'm currently in a Star Wars bag as we speak. I actually really enjoy Loungefly bags a lot. They really let me kind of bring out that geeky nerd uh, nerdiness that you know that most people don't want to show but Cheryl doesn't care so I kind of just put it all out there I love wearing them I get a lot of compliments on them I enjoy them and some I've kind of already featured on some of my films on here so I thought that today I would just kind of get on here and show you guys my bag so let me start with the one that I am currently using and my son picked it out for me to use because I'm like go pick out a bag for me to use because I actually use all my Loungefly bags. I really do enjoy them. I think they are fun. Like I said, they are all very conventional for me. Anyways, this is the one I got for Christmas. I actually spent my Christmas money for this one. It is an Ewok one from Box Lunch and I am currently using this one and I do have my little like little baby on it that I got out of my blind bag. These were really fun if you guys can find them. I got a, the little blind bag from Target for like six dollars. I got quite a few of them and I was so happy to get the baby with the cup. And then I also have my little um, hand sanitizer container that has the baby on it as well. You know, go grow, grow, go, sorry. And I did dump out the sanitizer that was in it, just so you guys know. Um, it was not safe, apparently, so if you guys have any of these, just dump it out. And I put the Bath & Body Works ones that I have, because I have, like, a big thing of the Bath & Body Works one, the smell that I really like. So, yes, this is the bag that I am currently using. And let me show it to you. It says Star Wars Lounge Fly on the plate. It has all the little Ewoks. There's Wicket right there. Nub nub guys. And it is just so beautiful. It's a beautiful bag. Let me show you the back of it also as well. I just extremely love my bags. I enjoy them. It also has that padded um, straps on it. And then also two right here on the hardware. It's kind of that kind of gold bronzy hardware. So it has the little um, crown on it to show that it is a loungeify. And then on the inside of it, it has the little forest of indoor on it. And it is really extremely gorgeous. Sorry, I am currently using it. And then it does not have an inner pocket, but it does have the side pockets, which are so conventional, especially if you want to stick your phone there. So yes, that is one of my favorite. You're going to hear me say that about all my bags. I love all my bags. So yeah, so this is the current one that I'm using. So it's just so awesome. So that's my first one I wanted to show you guys. Now, the second one I wanted to show you guys, it was one that was found at the parks and I did have to purchase it off of eBay um, from another seller. So this is another one that I have of Grogu. It is black and it has the gold hardware and it does have Loungefly on its little pull things those zipper pulls I'm sorry and then it has a two I really do enjoy there's two there was is there two on my other one yeah there's two on the one that is Ewok also as well but I do enjoy when they put the two it just it just makes it more convenient they do have side pockets I have wore this one quite a bit it is black so it goes with a lot it does have those 
really comfortable straps to it and then it also has the little crown as you can see there too and it's just so cute and it's kind of a placement bag but it's so it has good I think that I've not seen one that has a bad placement on these on this particular bag excuse me this particular bag has really good placement no matter what because it just has Grogu all over it and all of his little different positions. I don't think you can go wrong with this and we all know that placement bags can be, how can I say? Okay, so when you get a placement bag and I, I did a video about placement bag, you don't know what you're gonna get. You are at the mercy of the person that's shipping it to you so you are you're not guaranteed that perfect placement let's just say that but for some people some perfect placements for them may not be the perfect placements for another person and I did a whole video over that so but yes this is one of my Star Wars loungifies that I absolutely do adore as well I love all my bags you're gonna hear me say that probably about 20 times and inside you do see where it has like the param and arabesh writing is in it as well if you are a big star wars fan there is a no inner pocket but like i said it does have the side pockets i really do adore this bag this is a fun bag to wear as well i have gotten a lot of compliments i've gotten compliments on all my bags that i've wore so yes guys this is the second star wars i'm to buy bag that i currently own in my collection so for my next bag this one was my bag that was gifted to me from my lovely fiance husband to be this is the Mandalorian and it has Mando and it also has Grogu on it as well. And I really love that it kind of reminds me of like, and it's because of that like that beige look to it. It's kind of fancy to me. Maybe I'm just a weirdo, but yes. And I did put one of the little like pop, um, Funko Pops, little mini kind of little keychain kind of guys on there. The baby and the pram because I just, I love the little Funko Pops. I've gotten to collect all of them so far. So yay me. But yes, this is another one that I truly love. And as the other ones had their little plate here, this one actually has it down here. He gifted me with this. This was my first no, this was not my first I like. This is not my first Star Wars bag. I'm going to actually show you my first one. So, yes. Well, the Ewok bag was my first Star Wars one. But my my actual first Grogu, the, the Mandalorian bag. Yeah, I'm going to show you that one. But yes, this is what this one looks like. And I do fasten down their... Their... Um, straps when I'm not using them. I've used this one quite a bit, but you can get these little like they're Velcro-y. You can get a whole pack of them for like three bucks on Amazon. I actually was given this um, kind of, you know, like up on how to keep your bags kind of nice from if you've ever watched Pixie Ducks and dust and peaches she's really awesome and she has a huge collection and she shows you how to take care of your bags so I don't know if you guys know her but she's pretty amazing and she is one of my favorite youtubers to watch now this one does again have the two zipper pulls with the lounge of fly logo this does have the silver hardware to it and the side pockets and of course the comfy little straps it's black so it goes with a lot and it has that beige in it and it is just that i love that it has beige and i love that it has mando in it um because a lot of bags don't have the mandalorian in it and it's kind of nice to see that he is actually in this bag and also too let me show you the inside of it it does have the inner pocket and it has the mud horn um, symbol for the Mandalorian. Let me try to get a better 
see it right there. It is really pretty. It's gray. It has the inner pocket with the zipper as well. So it's very conventional. I've used this quite a bit. I really do enjoy this bag and I've also gotten a lot of compliments on it as well. So yes, this was a really good and then when I wear it too, it makes me think of my honey. So yes, it was a very sweet gift from him. And my first Grogu bag was actually a Walmart find, believe it or not. Um, it was a Walmart bag that was like $17.98 and I really love this bag. It is very simple. It was it's no fuss. It doesn't have, it just has those nylon straps, you know, and the basic hardware. It's not a loungeify, but it is a Star Wars um, labeled so it is one of their products but yes it is an official licensed product is what I'm trying to say <laughs> um, but yes I loved it I do get a lot of compliments on it it doesn't even have it, it does have little side pockets too I did like I said I got a lot of compliments on this little bag it's simple it's easy this will be fun for like if you have a younger child this is a perfect starter bag for him or her now on the inside it does have that basic like kind of minty look to it there's no inner pocket there are these little let's see if i can get a good picture of it i've done a review on this one before it's just kind of like little straps you can strap down some stuff it's nothing really it's pretty basic basically is what i'm trying to say but yes i love this bag this was my first grogu bag i really do enjoy it and it is part of my star wars collection too so Yes. Now, I also was gifted from my lovely honey, this gorgeous baby that everybody was crazy about. Now, there were two different bags. There was another one that kind of had like that. I don't know. He was like, and then you have the smiling baby. And I was really like, okay, I want the smiling baby. I don't want the, he just looked kind of like, I don't know. He was not very happy. So yes, this was gifted to me too by my honey. It is one that was very sought out. A lot of people have this bag. It is really super cute. It is the baby in the pram. I do get a lot of compliments on this one. There's not a bag that I don't own by Loungefly that I do not get a compliment on. Everybody pretty much sees it. It's your you're like making such a big fashion piece, just my opinion, when you're wearing these bags. Um, I love that it. it has that bronzy enamel and then it has the little frog on its zipper pull and the loungeify. Now this one does have the double pull too for the zippers with the loungeify logo on it and those beautiful cushy straps right there with that logo of the crown and also too on the side it just really shows that he's in his pram and it's that beautiful beige and brown so you can match it with jeans a white shirt a black shirt it is really a cute thing to wear i love wearing it it does not have side pockets it does not have a front pocket but it does have and like I said, I, I put all like the little stuffings in them when I change them out. I just changed out of this bag too. So it has the baby on the inside with a little bit of arabesque. And yes, it's just such a fun, cute bag. And it does have an inner pocket. And the inner pocket is even embroidered in like that faux. Let me see if I can. I'm going to have to pull some more stuffing out to show you better. I'm going to have to go back later, but... It's like embroidered, so it's really defined. You see that right there on the inside. So yes, I love this bag. This is such a cute, fun bag. And for us that love Grogu and the Mandalorian, this is definitely a bag that we all enjoy. So yes, I love that bag and I love that it's a part of my collection. And this is, the next bag I have to show you is a bag that I won in an auction on eBay. 
and I did not pay very much for it at all because I was the only one that did a bit on it and I absolutely loved it. I had to clean it up a bit because it is a used bag. I did not buy it with tags, but I'm okay with that because I really love him and just think he is just so cute and I've gotten a lot of compliments on him but it is the Yoda bag and this is a Disney Parks bag and it does have its enamel little Star Wars logo lounge of five right there for you and it has like this kind of uh what is that called when the it's like a mesh kind of it reminds me of a potato bag like potato sack <laughs> But yes, it does have that kind of mesh at the bottom that kind of looks like it's his outfit. And it does have side pockets. I really do enjoy this bag. I had to clean it up a little bit when I got it. It does have like a few things, but I was not worried about that considering the price that I got it was super cheap. And yes, I absolutely love the Yoda bag. He is probably one of my favorite pieces. This will probably be the bag for the day. So because it is May the 4th and I do love to celebrate Star Wars. And as we all love the baby, we also love Yoda as well. And so many of the other characters. So this is just a beautiful bag if you can get it for your collection. There are a few on eBay. A lot of people haven't seen this bag. Now this is what the back looks like. It has that kind of mesh kind of um, fabric all the way around the bottom of it. So it's pretty defined. And then it has that faux vegan brown. And then it goes into the Yoda color. And they just made him look so happy and so chill and content. And... Yes, I am just loving this bag and it looks so cute on guys when you see this on your back. It was funny, just kind of a short story. It was funny because me and my son were going into Walmart and they kind of like blare their music outside now. And there was like a really fun catchy tune on and I was making him bounce on my back so he was dancing. And yes, he's just fun and I love him. He's probably one of my... Okay, let's just face it, they're all my favorite bags. But yes, and now for the inside of it. Now on the pull tags, I thought they were so, or sorry, the zipper pulls. I thought they were so nifty and neat. I did have to clean them up when I got him. And I did have to clean up some of the mesh on it, but I did a really good job. And I just used a little bit of light soap and water because you do want to be very careful how you clean these bags because you can take off their paint and color. But yes, it does have that faux vegan leather on its little zipper pulls. It has the silver right there hardware for it. And it is double pull for the zipper pulls. And it has that faux vegan as well. And it's brown, so it's, it's very different. I like that about this bag. So I'm going to open it for you guys and show you the inside it has no inner pocket and it does not have any design it just has that brown on the inside but look how spacious he is so yes he is a beautiful piece to have in your star wars lounge fly collection if you can get a hold of him i know that there are some sellers on ebay and i'm not sure if they carry them at the park anymore but I was just very lucky to win him in an auction on eBay for not much. So, yes, he is a gorgeous bag to have. And then, my last but not least, is a newer bag that I got on Garado's Treasures. If you have not gone to Garado's Treasures and checked out their lounge of flies, you may want to do so. They have sales, and right now they are offering flawed tattoo the tattoo uh, mandalorian bag you can get them they could have like a misprint they could have a misstitch they may be missing a little bit of the pattern on it whatever it may be i'm really excited to get this bag i did send off for it they have great customer service they were pretty fast about getting it out the same day that I ordered it. So it's already been shipped, so I'm just waiting for it. 
and I was really excited. I'm going to do a box opening of it with you guys when I get it, so stay tuned for that video. But yes, I purchased this off of Garado's Treasures. If you have not gone on there, like I said, you definitely want to go on there and check out their sales and their bags because they have some wonderful deals. So you guys, isn't this gorgeous? This is my new, newer bag. I have not had a chance to wear it yet. And if you look on its zipper pull, it is, it's a lifesaver. Like that is super cute. It's a red one. It does have that beautiful um, silver enamel to it, that hardware. And then it does have the two zipper pulls. You guys know how I feel about, about that. It doesn't have side pockets, but it does offer a lot of the characters that are in Star Wars. You have the Super Trooper, Bubba Fett, Darth Vader, Chewie. I mean, you just cannot go wrong with this. I do believe that's Luke right there. And then R2-D2. Yes, the Joids, and I absolutely am in love with this bag. It is super cute. I cannot wait to use it. I still have the tags on it, but yes, I did get it on a sale on Garado's Treasures because, you know, your girl, she has, to, she has to have her sales, and this is how it came. The straps are the cushiony straps. And they do put this behind it. These are kind of nice to keep, by the way, if you're just displaying your bag. It will just keep the back protected because a lot of times, like I said, this stuff can rub off before I've said that. So I am really excited to open this bag and show you what it looks like inside. It does have that official Star Wars Loungeify enamel little plate on it. So let's open it up and see what we have inside you guys for the inside. I'm going to take some of that stuffing out. I do save my stuffing. Oh, it's cute. Okay, so it is. it does have an inner pocket. You see it? And it does have that enamel little tiny. And it says lounge fly on it. It's so tiny. Sorry. It's stiff, so it's kind of hard. It's so tiny right there, but it does say Loungefly on it. It is really cute. It does have the inner pocket, and then this is what it looks like for the inside material. It says Star Wars, and it has some of the symbols on it. This is actually an adorable bag. If you ask me to walk around with and just kind of show your fandom for Star Wars. I really do enjoy all my bags. Like I said, I use all of them. I change in and out of them all the time. I know I have other ones that are Harry Potter or Disney. I change out of them all the time as well. But yes, you guys. So this is my collection of my Star Wars bags. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And for everybody that's subscribed liked and shared my videos thank you guys so much for you know just supporting my channel supporting me there will be a lot more to come i just kind of moved into this smaller room so i'm trying to get myself more lighting right now my lighting is not very good as you probably can tell in most of my videos and i apologize for that but yes, you guys, more videos are to come. I will share more reviews with you guys or things that I'm collecting. And guys, do what you love. Don't worry about what other people think. Because at the end of the day, you're the one who has to be happy. So, yes. Well, thank you guys for watching. And happy May the 4th be with you all. And yes, bye now.